Hello and welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now, why am I blindfolded? Well, it's because today we are going to be looking at the figures you get inside blind bags or blind boxes. Each one contains a mysterious, highly detailed figure like this one. Not like that one. No, it'll be something like this. This is a Doctor Who one. So the box shows you which figures you may have inside. Obviously you don't know if you've actually purchased it. And then once opened, you get something like this. Cool little Cyberman. Now the thing is, it is very addictive because if you get a good figure, you want to go back and buy some more. If you get a not so good figure, you want to go back even more and get some more. So it can be very addictive, not to mention very expensive. So what I'll do, I'll show you some of the figures that I've managed to collect so far and then I'll open up some boxes right in front of your very eyes. So first in the collection is the Family Guys. Um, I, I really like these figures, they come with lots of nice accessories. So I've got a couple so far, I've got Peter and Lois, and Stewie, and I love Stewie because he comes with Rupert. Um, as I say, there's some really nice little accessories these, Evil Monkey, there he is. And I've also managed to get Battle Peter, I just need to get the big chicken to have a fight with him. But yeah, these figures, I've got to say, are really good. So from The Simpsons, I've managed to collect these guys so far, and they're nicely detailed, they don't come with any accessories, but it'd be nice if I could get Bart or Homer next. From Futurama, I've got these, and they do come with some nice accessories, as you can see. And finally, some South Park ones, which again, look really cool. I mean, they, they do look like the guys in the show. They do come with some accessories. Um, the policeman, I think, is supposed to have a little sign. I didn't get one with him for some reason, but I'm not too bothered about that. But yeah, they're pretty cool as well. Now, I have got an awful lot of the Titan Doctor Who figures, and they are really great. I love them, but I've got so many that I'm going to do a separate video on these. But I thought I'd include some now, just so you can see them. But of course, all these figures have been opened and I want to open some new ones in front of you guys. So let's get the bag, let's get the card and let's go shopping. Now we were supposed to wait till we got home to open those figures but it was the hottest day ever and I'm afraid the pub was calling and once we'd had a pint we couldn't resist opening them. So of course we had the Domo Batman which is kind of cool. Out of the classic horror box we got this guy. Now I don't really know who he is, I'm sure someone out there can tell me but I was a bit disappointed because I really wanted Chucky. Anyway don't worry I've still got a few more boxes that we can unbox live. So let's start with Marvel and DC, which one should we go for first? Marvel, DC, Marvel, DC. Let's go for Marvel. So this is the first Marvel box that I've bought. 
and let's have a look and see which figure would I like. Um, I'd like the Hulk or Spidey or Thor. I'd really like the, the Thor figure would be good. So let's unbox it and see who's inside. It is, oh, that bag. It is, oh, who's this? Oh, it's got a springy head. Oh, it's whoever that is. Is he even on there? I wasn't expecting the springy head. Maybe I should have been. So yeah, whoever that is, somebody tell me. I've just realised there was a big clue on the box that it was a bubble head, but uh, there he is. So I've thrown the Marvel figure in the bin and let's move on to DC Universe and let's hope it's a better one. Again, this is the first figure I've bought from this range. So let's have a look. Who do I want? I really want the Riddler. That's the one I want. So here we go. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's in a clear bus. Oh, well, that's pretty cool, actually. That's the penguin. And here he is, unbagged. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. He's, he's pretty cool. Next up is Transformers. Now, I'll be honest, I only picked this up because it was reduced to 99p, and I thought it would be fun, more fun than the last movie. Anyway, so let's have a look. Um, no, doesn't show me who I might get, but let's see. Oh, packaging's tough. It is God. That is really disappointing. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay more than 99p for that. Who is it? Oh, it's got a Lenula card. Ah, good. It's got a guide inside. So it's, uh, it's oh, it's Megatron, is it? Oh, I should have known that. We're old friends. It's fair to say I will never buy one of these again, but I thought I'd show you what other Transformer delights are available in this set. Um, I would have quite liked Shockwave, actually, but there we are. Now we've got a very small Megatron. So the Simpson packs, yes. Um, I'm keen to get the whole set, so I bought three of these. I did give them a good old feel, but I, I couldn't really tell what's inside, so these are going to be a bit of a surprise. So... Let's go with the first one and see. I really need Marge. I hope at least one of these is Marge. And the first one is... Who's that? I need a head. Ah, cool. Excellent. Police Chief Wigan. Yes, I'm pleased with that one. I haven't got him. So, who do we want next? One down, two to go. Okay, come on. It's to be Marge. I've got a feeling it is actually. I think I can. I think I can feel Marge's massive hair inside here. So look. Yes, I thought it was. It's Marge. I shan't even attempt to do the voice. And here she is. I thought it was Marge because I could feel her hairpiece through the uh, through the packaging there. Nice figure. Got some nice little accessories. They come, some of the figures come with this sort of strange material that you have to sort of wrap around them. I think they look better without it, to be honest, but uh, yeah, there you go. So very pleased with those two, because I haven't got either of those. Now, I would love this last one to be Mr. Burns, because um, I really want to get him, but can't tell from feeding the pack. So let's have a look. Oh, no, that's cool. That's, that's another good one, and I haven't got it. Now, is that itchy? Or scratchy, I can't remember. But yeah, that's good. I haven't got him anyway, so that's really good. Three figures, and I haven't got any of them. So yeah, my Simpsons collection's coming on quite nicely now. So there you have it, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me unbox these figures. The danger of any of these, of course, is that you can end up getting the same figure over and over again. So I do recommend finding a quiet corner of the shop, just to have a sneaky fumble of the packet. Just don't get caught by the shop assistant like I did. Okay, do check out thegeekshandbag.com for all the latest news and videos, like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we're also on Tumblr and Twitter. Until the next time, guys, you take care. Bye-bye.